Naomi Stockman from My Local Hypnosis. I'm going to talk to you today about money blocks and how to change your financial reality by working through your personal barriers that are holding you back. And we all have them wherever we are financially in our lives is uh, directly attributed to exactly where you are in your mind. So we change the mind, we change the reality. And those of you who have watched uh, previous visit videos of mine, you might um, be aware that I did leave home at 15 and I was very poor for many years, about seven years actually, before I made the discovery that I was able to change my reality, my future. And that happened at about age 22 when I discovered Louise Hay and discovered that I could chant and change things. And there's much, much quicker ways that I've discovered since then. But I'll tell you a little bit about that a bit further through the video. So I want to talk to you first about um, Frank Lowy, who is the owner of Westfields. And I actually, at age 16, was employed by Westfields in the city in Sydney, the head office. And uh, I used to go into the glassy, glossy, flashy building um, back in 1990. It was, I was 16 years old. And I'd hop into the lift and occasionally I'd get into the same uh, elevator as Frank Chloe and I'd look at him and think, well, he's just another man. He doesn't look that remarkable compared to any other normal person. And it really struck me because the people that I associated with at that time would talk about rich people like they were a different species from a different planet. And to me, this just didn't feel right. So I did a little bit of investigating about Frank Lowy, and he actually was born in 1930. He was a he survived the Holocaust. He um, came to Australia as a 22 year old with nothing but a suitcase, and he couldn't speak English. And by the time he had been here for three years, he opened a delicatessen with a colleague of his called John Saunders, and together they um, ran this little deli, and they. I've read somewhere that with the first, um, you know, big deal he did in business, he went straight back and sold another 13 cents worth of Devon. So after he'd been here for seven years, so he was 29, he opened his first shopping mall. Can you imagine? He's come to a country where he can't speak the language. And in seven years, he has opened his first shopping mall. And it just makes you wonder, what is the difference between somebody like Frank Lowy, who can achieve so much in such a short time with such very humble beginnings to somebody else that absolutely stays stuck in that poverty that they started off in. And the difference is that a person who wants to achieve something needs to have a vision, needs to see it clearly, needs to be able to imagine it richly, and they need to have a can-find-how solution-driven kind of mindset so it's asking the hows and when you come up with I can't is smashing those down and just getting a how can I how can we how can this be done and as I said um, achieving that he has made a difference to the community made a difference to our country um, I myself benefited from his enterprise because I was able to at age 16 have a job where I was uh, able to um, develop professional skills, corporate um, contact with other other people and, and give myself an experience of working in the corporate world, which I wouldn't have had if there wasn't that enterprise there to begin with. So going back to me when I was 22, I had very, very um, poor money mindset. I'd been struggling for seven years with with like quite extreme hand-to-mouth poverty where you wait for the next five dollars to come in and it's already spent before you get it and I used Louise Hay's chanting affirmations and I focused just on money so I would repeat all the time I love money money loves me money comes to me so easily the more I spend the more I receive money 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 comes to me I now release a gold mine of wealth within me abundance pours onto me I allow the universe to blah, 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 blah. And I had pages and pages and pages written out and I would read them. And what I've realized since is that the reason that those worked and they did work, I bought my own house three years later, I had a good job paying good money, bought a new car, like lived a good life and money was no longer a problem for me at all, ever. And it still never has been till now. So 
the reason that those affirmations work is because my mind was able to richly imagine and to feel what I was chanting. And so you can just skip the whole affirmation thing and just get straight to the imagining part. So whatever our mind has in it now is what's in our life. So whatever your reality is, whether you've got debt, whether you've got money troubles, frustrations, and there's people on huge money that are extremely educated that still struggle with this. It's not an income issue. It is definitely a mindset issue. And when those, whatever that reality is, identify where those walls, those parameters, those boundaries are. So if you feel your current situation right now, you close your eyes and you just allow yourself to really notice what is your income? What is your expenditure? What is your rent? What is your car payments? What is, what is everything that incorporates your financial health and environment right now? And when you have that whole feeling, that is where you live in that feeling and in that imagination. And the key to changing your financial situation is to change your experience and your feeling and your imagination around that. So instead of being in that current reality, because what you're experiencing today is only the effect of what you had in your mind and what you did and everything from yesterday. Think about it. Today exists in its current state because you were created this moment in time from your past thinking, your past emotions, your past everything that you are or were back then has created where you are right now. So to create a different future, you need to just get richly into that imagining of what you would like instead and deeply feel it. Put the detail in. How much would you like to earn that? Imagine the money coming into your bank. Imagine the ease with which you're able to purchase things. Imagine how good it feels to drive that new car, walk into that new house, walk into the kitchen of your new home, see the beautiful furniture that you own, all the things, all the things that you can do, all the freedoms that you have. And do that with a heart filled with generosity and gratitude and appreciation and love. There's any time you do any of this stuff, it's got to be from that complete lack of fear and complete filled with love space because Anything you do with malice, anger, whatever, that will crumble and collapse later. So if you see people that are driven, like I'm going to show him or I'm going to prove to someone, so yes, they'll get there, they might get there, but it's never permanent. It's it's something that comes with it at a price, whereas a full heart that is on a completely, um, I guess they call it in flow or whatever they say these days, um, that is the, the space that really brings really rich results. And anytime you notice that you have like an I can't or it can't be done or it's you have a resistance and you'll feel it if you have a resistance, just sit with that resistance for a minute and just clear that out. Imagine. So some people might think, oh, people that have money are greedy. They take it from other people. They're, you know, um, materialistic. And that's just not true. There's plenty of people with lots of money who are extremely humble, benevolent, and very warm-hearted that would literally give the shirt off their back to anybody. It's just um, the difference between having and have notting, and there's no resentment with having, there's no resentment with have notting, or well, not having, rather, but well, however it comes across <laughs> is fine as long as you understand what I mean. So getting that... Um, Getting that mindset, changing your experience of reality will bring you a change in what you experience in the future. And that's where I'd like to see you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I would love to talk to you more on this. I have got um, some other videos coming out. There's a whole stack of stuff I want to talk to you about. So looking forward to continuing the conversation. Chat soon. Naomi Stockman, My Local Hypnosis.